it's uh, 0445 and I am hiking with the first glimmer of light just popping over the horizon here. And I'm doing so because this is the most mammoth day of the trek so far. Maps me is putting it at 10 hours and 19 minutes and I've been hiking slower than Maps Me's estimates recently so I shouldn't be getting there until about four or five o'clock in the evening. I have the option of splitting this into two days but I don't particularly want to do that. I'd much prefer to do it all in one. We shall see. I'm uh, hiking up here to Pass Camp. Pass being uh, Lumbasumba Pass. Um, there was a lot of snow yesterday so I'm not even sure if it's going to be possible. Well I've just spent the last two and a half hours walking along a very nice jeep track which I assume was built by the Chinese because it doesn't link up to uh, Nepal in the south and there's some very nice marble slabs at the side of the road counting down from about 23 so I assume that's the kilometers to Tibet but uh, there's so much um, rocks and debris on the track I can't imagine it's been used by jeeps for a little while unless all that was brought down by the by the rains over the last couple of days I doubt it though well I've come to a, a turn off I'm going to turn left here up this valley that you're looking up now which uh, is going to take me to past camp and the Lumbasumba behind it. I guess this is sort of Lumbasumba that we're looking at now. Um, not expecting the track to be anywhere near as nice as this beautiful flat jeep track. Should be um, exactly the opposite. But um, yeah, I'm going to try and find this bridge which should be down here somewhere. So I've been hiking for seven and a half hours now and uh, Maps Me seems to think that I've only got a couple of hours left but it's getting increasingly steep and rugged and the path is getting increasingly hidden and I'm sure I'm going to have some snow to contend with soon. Um, the, uh, the clouds have rolled in, so they're a little bit cooler now, but it was nice and warm earlier, which is good. I've been um, watching the temperature in the sun because uh, the uh, snow on the pass melting today, today and refreezing tonight is pretty critical for me to get over it tomorrow because there's a lot of snow there and we need it to um, melt and refreeze to make a nice surface. Um, but yeah, I'm just continuing up here. It's got really steep now. There was a bit earlier where I completely lost the path, ended up on the wrong side of the river and had to do this really sketchy kind of jump across this sort of raging rapids. The river's pretty, uh, pretty uh, swollen at the moment with all the rain. 
that wasn't fun. But found the path again. Not that there's much path now, but yeah, should get there soon. Hopefully this campsite is going to be good to pitch my tent in. Cross fingers. I keep on saying that. Well, I made it. <sighs> Not really sure where it is because this supposed campsite is under about a meter of snow. So I pitched the tent in the snow. I really hope the uh, pegs hold. I should have trampled it all down. Yes, yeah, so it took 12 hours. The last three hours were like knee deep snow. And that was the best steps, and the worst steps would post hold down to my waist. It was, uh, I'm totally exhausted. I don't feel 100%. Our alarm is set for three. Hopefully, none, no more of this soft snow. It'll all be nice and hard. <laughs> 